the seas around Wales need to be clean, productive and biologically diverse. They're part of the natural resources that support the way we live and work, a vital economic force, a source of opportunity and an asset we can pass on to future generations. But our seas will only continue to work for us if we use them responsibly, if we manage them in a joined up way that helps to grow our economy, creates new jobs and looks after the environment, from the seabed to the shore. So in Wales, we're committed to supporting our seas and coastal areas in a way that's fully sustainable. By working together, we'll all get the most from our marine environment, now and in the future. Let's take a look at how we're protecting our marine environment. Our seas are home to a wealth of marine life, including some species of global importance. Around our coast, you'll find large shallow inlets and bays, biogenic reefs, grey seals, gannets, and puffins. We're also home to more than one in three of the world's Manx shearwater, and there's a population of bottlenose dolphin in our midst. This diverse marine life is ours to celebrate, but it comes with a duty of care. To secure it for the future, we need to protect it from the potentially damaging effects of human activity such as pollution. Of course, protecting sea life and habitat is not just the right thing to do. It's also the only sensible option for the Welsh economy. Imagine places like Skoma and Cardigan Bay without the annual influx of bird watchers. Think how our tourist industry would fare if our land and seascape started to dwindle, or if changes affected our havens for yachting, surfing, and diving. And what about our fishing communities? They'd be put at risk if shellfish and other fish stocks were damaged or overfished. To protect the health of our seas and the industries that rely on them, Wales has 125 marine protected areas. In total, these areas cover 35% of our seas and each has its own role to play. Some are classed as special areas of conservation for habitats and species. Elsewhere, there are special protection areas for birds, Ramsar sites for wetlands, and for other features, sites of special scientific interest. In practice, protected status means keeping a close eye on activities. It doesn't mean you can't fish there, or use shipping lanes, or add marine power sources. It just means any plans will be carefully assessed. And if there's a risk of any detrimental effect, activities may have to be modified, all for the greater good. The marine protected areas around Wales are part of a wider UK network that will ultimately connect with areas all over Europe. With careful planning between nations, the whole European community will share our goals, economic gains, and an improved and resilient marine life. As in Wales, UK sites are there to protect species and habitats, not to place undue or unworkable restrictions. If we all want to keep our seas working for us in the future, if we want Wales and the UK to prosper as a coastal nation, this network of protected areas is a critical step forward. It's a practical way to protect our seas, our world and our way of life. For more information on marine protected areas, please visit the Welsh Government website www.wales.gov.uk/marine.